Just hours before the nationwide manhunt for a mail bomber came to an end, suspect Caesar Sayok was spinning records at this Florida strip club. You think you know someone and then you find out there's just something really sick going on up there. Sources tell NBC News Sayok likely made the bombs in this van where he was living, plastered with political propaganda supporting President Donald Trump. Basically, I knew right off the get-go of his political views. Deborah Juragian says Sayok was a model employee when delivering pizzas for her, showing up on time, doing what was asked. But she says he shocked co-workers with extreme intolerance. More than once I went into the bathroom to cry because the vile garbage that he was spewing about the lesbian and gay community, the transgender community, African-American, the Hispanic community was horrific. Sayok's long rap sheet dates back to the 90s. In 2002, he threatened to bomb a Florida power company, saying it would be worse than September 11th. His longtime attorney blames his problems on mental illness. He's not like you and I. He's missing something. An aunt, afraid to appear on camera, tells us his problems could stem from steroid use. The only problem he had was steroids. I remember that. <clears throat> Love steroids. Okay. That's why he's so big. Sayox being held at the Federal Detention Center here in Miami. His first court appearance is Monday afternoon. If convicted, he could face up to 48 years in prison. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.